Have you ever wondered why a modern U.S. Navy ship would fly a pirate flag? It's not a scene from a Hollywood movie, but an intriguing reality that involves the USS Kidd, a Fletcher-class destroyer with a unique and captivating story. The presence of the Jolly Roger flag on a U.S. Navy ship raises many questions and eyebrows. Today, we delve into the surprising history behind this tradition, exploring the blend of honor, humor, and naval culture that allows a military vessel to carry such a notorious symbol. Number one, the historical context of the Jolly Roger in the Navy. The use of the Jolly Roger by naval forces is a fascinating example of how symbols can be reappropriated to suit different contexts and purposes. While most people associate the Jolly Roger with piracy and lawlessness on the high seas, its adoption by British submarines during World War II provided a unique twist to this infamous flag story. The British Royal Navy first utilized the Jolly Roger during World War I when Lieutenant Commander Max Horton of the submarine HMS EI-9 decided to fly the flag after a successful mission. Horton's intention was to mock the notion of submariners as underhanded and deceitful, qualities often attributed to pirates. The practice became more widespread during World War II when submarines would hoist the Jolly Roger after returning from missions to signal their success, often after sinking enemy ships. This symbolic use was more than just a statement of victory. It was an act of psychological warfare. By flying the Jolly Roger, the submariners were sending a message to their enemies and their own side, signaling both defiance and a sense of invincibility. The flag became a morale booster, rallying the crew's spirits and reinforcing their identity as part of an elite, daring group capable of striking fear into the hearts of their adversaries. Each flag was often customized with symbols to indicate the type and number of enemy ships sunk, mines laid, or other notable achievements, turning the Jolly Roger into a personalized badge of honor. The adoption of the Jolly Roger by a surface ship like the USS Kidd is even more intriguing. Unlike submarines, which operated in a world of stealth and surprise, surface ships were far more visible and typically adhered strictly to naval traditions and regulations regarding flags and symbols. However, the USS Kidd, named after Rear Admiral Isaac C. Kidd, who was killed at Pearl Harbor, found a unique and personal reason to adopt the pirate flag. The name Kidd happened to coincide with that of Captain William Kidd, a 17th century pirate. This accidental namesake provided the crew with an unusual opportunity to embrace a symbol outside the norm, blending honor with a sense of playful rebellion. The decision to fly the Jolly Roger on the Kid was about more than just a name. It was a way for the crew to foster a unique identity that distinguished them from other ships. It created a sense of unity and shared history, turning the pirate flag into a symbol of their collective spirit and ingenuity. Unlike the use of the flag by submarines to signify specific wartime achievements, the Kid's use of the Jolly Roger was more about internal cohesion and boosting morale among the crew. The flag symbolized their readiness to take on challenges in a bold and unorthodox manner, embodying a spirit of adventure and resilience that was crucial during wartime. Number two, honoring Admiral Isaac Kidd, the man behind the name. Rear Admiral Isaac C. Kidd was a revered figure in the U.S. Navy, known not only for his strategic mind, but also for his deep sense of duty and leadership. Born in Cleveland, Ohio in 1884, Kidd graduated from the United States Naval Academy in 1906. His career was marked by rapid ascension through the naval ranks, a testament to his competence and commitment. Before World War II, he had already served in several high-profile positions, including Chief of Staff to the Commander-in-Chief U.S. Fleet. His experience in leadership roles allowed him to shape many of the naval strategies that would later become crucial during wartime. On December 7, 1941, Admiral Kidd was aboard the USS Arizona during the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Known for his composure under pressure, he attempted to coordinate the defense of his ship amidst the chaos of the attack. Tragically, he was killed when a bomb detonated near the bridge, making him the first flag officer of the United States Navy to die in World War II. His death, while a loss to the Navy, became a symbol of sacrifice and resilience. Posthumously, Kidd was awarded the Medal of Honor for his heroism, a rare honor that highlighted his ultimate sacrifice and his embodiment of naval valor. The decision to name the USS Kidd after Rear Admiral Kidd was not just a formality, but a deliberate effort to inspire future generations of sailors with his legacy. 
His widow, Inez Kidd, played a significant role in preserving his memory and supported initiatives that honored his name. She gave her blessing for the ship to fly the Jolly Roger, seeing it as a fitting tribute to her husband's fighting spirit and a playful nod to his name's similarity to the infamous pirate Captain Kidd. This unique blend of solemn respect and lighthearted tribute provided the USS Kidd with a distinctive identity among the fleet. Beyond the connection to his name, the Jolly Roger represented the audacity and courage Admiral Kidd was known for. It became a symbol not just of his sacrifice, but also of the Navy's broader values of bravery and determination. The crew's embrace of the pirate theme went beyond mere homage. It was a living testament to Admiral Kidd's ethos of leadership and resilience in the face of adversity. The ship's atmosphere under this flag was one of camaraderie and unity, qualities Admiral Kidd exemplified throughout his career. By flying the Jolly Roger, the USS Kidd's crew created a narrative that merged history with present-day identity, reinforcing Admiral Kidd's legacy as a leader who was both revered and relatable. The flag served as a constant reminder of the valorous spirit they aspired to uphold, bridging the gap between a storied past and a vibrant present. This unique homage allowed them to navigate the challenges of war with a shared sense of purpose, embodying the resilience that Admiral Kidd had so fiercely demonstrated. Number three, the pirate theme in practice, life aboard the USS Kidd. The pirate theme aboard the USS Kidd permeated every aspect of life, transforming routine naval operations into opportunities for creativity and team bonding. This unique identity was embraced by all crew members who saw the pirate persona as a way to differentiate themselves and build a cohesive, spirited community on board. The Pirates of the Pacific wasn't just a nickname, it became a code of conduct and a mindset that influenced how the crew approached their duties. This ethos fostered a culture of innovation and adaptability where traditional naval hierarchies were balanced with a playful, rebellious spirit. One of the more practical aspects of this theme was how the crew personalized their uniforms and ship's decor. Sailors often added small pirate emblems or motifs to their jackets, hats, and other gear, subtly reinforcing their unique identity. The ship itself featured a prominently painted Jolly Roger, ensuring that even from afar, the USS Kidd's pirate affiliation was unmistakable. This personalization extended to the ship's equipment and even to everyday language. Common naval terms were often replaced with pirate slang, creating an internal lingo that further bonded the crew. During combat operations and patrols, this pirate mindset translated into unconventional strategies. The crew of the USS Kidd often employed deceptive maneuvers and tactics that drew inspiration from pirate lore, such as feints and unexpected attacks, to outmaneuver enemies. These tactics were not just for show, they proved effective in several engagements where the element of surprise and unpredictability caught opposing forces off guard. This willingness to think outside the box and adopt unorthodox strategies was key to their success in various naval battles. Morale was a crucial element of the kids' pirate culture. The lighthearted atmosphere encouraged camaraderie and reduced stress, especially during prolonged periods at sea. To keep spirits high, the crew organized themed events, such as pirate nights, where sailors could dress in pirate costumes, partake in skits, and even engage in mock treasure hunts. These activities were not only morale boosters, but also team-building exercises that reinforced unity and trust among the sailors. The pirate theme made the harsh realities of war more bearable and helped mitigate the psychological toll of combat. Even in their downtime, the crew embraced the pirate lifestyle. They often crafted pirate-themed art, such as sketches and carvings, which were displayed throughout the ship. These artworks served as both creative outlets and daily reminders of their unique identity. In addition, the crew's diet sometimes featured pirate meals, with menus designed to reflect what sailors imagined pirates might have eaten, adding a culinary twist to their themed experience. The integration of the pirate theme extended to their engagement with other ships and naval groups. The USS Kidd's crew developed a reputation for their daring spirit, and this was reflected in their interactions with allies and adversaries alike. During fleet exercises, they were known for staging elaborate pranks on other ships, always with a good-natured spirit, but also as a means of psychological play that reinforced their pirate branding. 
These pranks, while lighthearted, required careful planning and coordination, further enhancing their skills in teamwork and strategy. Number four, the legacy of the USS Kidd and its enduring symbolism. The USS Kidd as a museum ship in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, offers a unique and immersive experience for visitors, allowing them to connect directly with naval history and the personal stories of its crew. The ship's decision to continue flying the Jolly Roger is more than a nod to the past. It serves as a living exhibit that educates the public on the multifaceted nature of military traditions and the emotional weight of naval heritage. The pirate flag, stark against the backdrop of the Mississippi River, symbolizes the blending of honor and rebellion, a visual reminder of the Navy's history of resilience and creativity. Visitors to the USS Kidd are often drawn to the ship because of the Jolly Roger, initially piqued by its unusual appearance on a naval vessel. This curiosity transforms into a deeper educational experience as they learn about the ship's unique role during World War II and the reasons behind its adoption of the pirate emblem. The flag serves as an entry point into discussions about naval strategy, the psychological tactics employed during wartime, and the ways in which military units build morale and a shared sense of purpose. By maintaining the flag, the museum fosters a dialogue about the nuanced interpretations of symbols within the military context. The symbolism of the Jolly Roger on the USS Kidd extends beyond the immediate narrative of its crew. It speaks to the broader military practice of repurposing symbols for morale and unity. For those who served on the Kidd, the flag was a morale booster and a unique identifier distinguishing their vessel from others in the fleet. Today, it serves as a powerful storytelling device, a symbol of the adaptability and ingenuity required in military service. The flag's presence is a testament to how the past continues to influence the present, helping veterans and new generations alike understand the importance of camaraderie, identity, and the power of shared symbols in building a cohesive unit. The ongoing display of the Jolly Roger also encourages reflection on the nature of military legacy and memory. The kids' use of the flag is a form of narrative preservation, maintaining the stories and spirit of those who served aboard long after their time has passed. This legacy is not static, but evolves as new interpretations and stories are shared by visitors, historians, and former crew members. Each visitor who steps onto the deck of the USS Kidd becomes a part of this living history, contributing to the ongoing legacy of a ship that has become much more than just a vessel. It is a symbol of enduring strength and adaptability. The pirate flag on the USS Kidd is a compelling example of how military history can be kept alive through the use of engaging and unexpected symbols. It provides a stark contrast to the more conventional symbols of naval power and discipline, reminding us that the stories of the past are often filled with creativity, humor, and a willingness to break from tradition when necessary. The Kids Jolly Roger serves as a continuous challenge to the ordinary, inviting all who see it to think more deeply about the nature of bravery, the importance of morale, and the lasting impact of a spirited identity forged in the heat of battle.